Hello everyone, good evening. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Let me check on the notification kung live na ba tayo. Magandang magandang gabi everybody on a Saturday night. I know it's a very hectic Saturday for most of us. How have you been, guys been doing? I'm waiting for all of our friends to come in and tune in sa ating live session. It's a very special collaboration tonight. Alam kong a lot of people have been um, wanting this collab to happen and now it's coming into reality. Magandang gabi po ulit sa inyong lahat. Um, if you can hear me loud and clear, just speak, uh, please uh, comment down below. Kung naririnig niyo na po ako. Once again, good evening po to all our subscribers and our dear friends sa ating YouTube channel. This is Dr. Z, the Passion Guru. And tonight, we have a very, very special guest. No? Yung isa, eh, paborito natin dito sa ating YouTube channel. He's been here for quite some time already. But today, very important yung isa natin makakasama. At finally said yes, despite a very hectic schedule tonight uh, after nitong live natin and meron din silang sarili na lang um, live sa kanilang YouTube channel kaya larga kayo doon right after tonight guys can you guys hear us can you guys hear me magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat um hindi ko na patatagalin pa of course um, ang makakasama natin tonight sa ating bakbakan um isa sa ating mga favorite commentaries at talagang yung mga comments ng mga tao every time he guests here Talagang super positive ang comments ng mga tao. Please welcome, uunahin ko na siya. Hindi ko pa alam kung anong itsura niya ngayon at wala kaming theme for tonight. At excited ako to see what he prepared for us. Please welcome ang ating cosplayer, one of our favorite pageant commentaries in the world of pageantry, Mr. Ace Evans. Good evening, Sir Ace. Hello, Sir Ace. Hello, hello. Sir Ace, are you there? Hello po. Nako, mukhang nagkaka-problem si Sir Ace Evans. Okay, at ang isa naman nating makakasama, of course, we've been wanting to have her on our YouTube channel. Ang ating um, isa sa pinaka-tumatak at tumatatak sa atin, isa sa mga... Um, brutally honest when it comes to pageant commentaries and everything under the sun. Please welcome Miss G. Hello, Miss G. Good evening. Hello, everyone. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Ayan. Thank you so much for having me here. Maraming maraming salamat. Grabe, Miss G. I am so honored and super happy that you're here on our YouTube channel. At talaga, Thank you for inviting um, me. Yeah, this is a dream come true. I've been watching you for you know a long time already, and now you're here. Kini ko. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, for, thank you so much. Here tonight. Oh, oh. Ayan, ayan na. Um, sorry, sorry. Hintay natin once again. Another introduction, please. Welcome, Mr. Ace Evans. Good evening. Sorry, sorry. Gani pa kasi ako ng ano Mercury. So ayun, thank you so much for welcoming. Yeah, thank you so much for the invite again, Doc Said. And sorry na karon ng problem lang. Pero ayun, ah uh, galing pa tayo sa Mercury kung saan ang gamot ay laging maganda ang bigat. Ah, oh. <laughs> ayun lang. Hello, hello, good afternoon. Although we hear from France, bonjour sa inyo and sawali ka sa inyo and Ohio, diyan sa Pilipinas. Or magandang hapon, magandang gabi. Ayun. Hello, hello. Grabe. Hello, ano ang peg ano ang peg mo tonight? Sir Sailor Ace? Moon Mercury. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sailor Moon Mercury. Grabe. Yeah. Talagang pinapabilib ako each time. <laughs> Ay, uh, so, buti na lang with a touch of purple kami ni Miss G. Medyo nag-collab kami ng aming ano, background. Correct. Ay, I know. Ano, 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 hello glow ako tonight. Medyo konting ano tayo. Uh, Pag-girl tayo tonight, kaya kasi kasama ko ang very pretty na si Miss G. Batiin natin muna ang ating mga 
um, subscribers who are tuned in tonight. Hello, Jesus Padernal with all the hearts. Magandang um, good afternoon, Doc Z, Miss G and A. Suwiyo, nice collab sana. Kasama si Mama Bex. Nako, very busy din si Mama Bex or Eric Teams. Hello po. Hello Super. po, Doc Z. Sabi ni Leona Robles. Good eve. Good afternoon po sa inyo. Mukhang nagtago si Sir Ace. Medyo nagkaroon tayo ng technical uh, yeah, problem sorry. with Sir Ace, Sir Eric. Pero ngayon, tingnan nyo naman, pasabog ang um, Sir Ace Evans. Michael Fernando says, Doc Z, si Tara at Alexi, lakas ng stage presence sa Hello Glow. Of course, yan po ang ating pag-uusapan. Tonight, um, magre-recap tayo, Sir Michael Florendo. Wow, nice Miss G and Doc Z collab. Yes, you've been waiting for this. Lee J. Ho Vlogs, magandang good afternoon po. Happy Saturday, Doc Z, Miss G and A, sabi ni Nel Maceta. Mm-hmm. Hello, Sir Nel. Thank you for um, always liking and always subscribing and always watching sa ating YouTube live. Eric Tim says, ganda talaga ni Miss G, super alive na alive. Kaya nga nakaka-pressure ang ganda. Grabe. Oh. Ay, grabe. <laughs> sabi ni Nel Maceda, top three na agad-agad. O di ba, hindi kayo makapili kung sinong winner sa aming tatlo. Aminin nyo yan. <laughs> Oh, Leona Robles says, OMG Sir Ace, winner! Ayan, oo nga, pasabog talaga to. Talagang pressured ako always with Sir Ace. Actually, yung suot ko ngayon, eh, backless to eh, pero hindi ko nalang ipapakita. <laughs> so, eh. <laughs> oo, ayan. Hello, Doc Z, Miss G, and Ace Evans, sabi ni Twins TV. Cute ng suot ni Ace, o diba? Sailor Moon from Mercury. Hello, Papa. Hello, ka. Sabi ni Sir Eric Timms. Ayan, bongga. Si Natita Elat Luis na lang kulang. May bagong Ashley's na tayo. Sabi ni Patrick about God. Nako. <laughs> nako, nako, nako. Okay, hello, hello. Sige. Hello, hello na lang. Ako yan. Ayan. Ang gada ng hair mo, Miss Chi. Oo nga. Nakamute ba si Doc said? I think yung ano niya... Doc said yung ano mo yata, yung mic mo naka low bat. Oh. Yes, ayan. Ayan na wala. And thank you so much. I can M- hear you eh. Oo. Thank okay. you so much. Tayo na magtitake over oh. ng live na to. <laughs> thank, so, you so much, thank you so much. Hello, hello. Thank you for. Hello, hello. Thank you for. I know I'll see you later. But to all the viewers who's watching right now, I think, you know, um, Doc said is having some. Uh, issue with his connection so for now it will be us <laughs> who will entertain you for the meantime let's wait um, for I him but yeah. you know, we cannot and, see the comments that's why we cannot read it but thank you so much guys for tuning in and he's back i'm 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 back Um, Doc MVJ, maraming salamat po for the 249 super sticker. Thank you, Ms. G and Ace for accepting this live. Oo naman, talagang very, very thankful ako. Um, when Sir Ace scheduled this live tonight, very, very happy for this. Hello, Doc Z, Sex Bomb G and Ace <laughs> Evans, 70 JR or Solino. Hi, Sir JR. Thank you for tuning Hello, in. Po. I hope we can um, make a collab very, very soon. Michael Florendo says, Doc Z, number one, because... Si Hal- sa Hello Glow, si Tara, ang ganda at galing romampa. Pag-usapan natin yan later. Hello po, like na po ba ako? Ganda po ng peg ni Ace as Sailor Moon. Ang ganda niyo po, Ms. G and Doc. Thank you very much, Alexis Enriquez. Tama ka, as Sailor Moon po sa, sa atin tonight, si Sir Ace. Hello sa inyo, watching from Japan. Sabi ni Arisamu. Ayan. Hello po, good evening. Hello guys, wow, si Ms. G, ganda. Para siya yung nanala sa Ms. Glow. Oo nga eh. Anong klaseng uh, ininom ba ni Miss uh, G tonight? Very blooming siya tonight. Ayan. Konbawa, Doc QTZ. Hello, Kawai Ace and Miss G. Sabay kayo ng Empire PH now. Dropping the tourism videos. Yeah, pag-uusapan natin ang tourism videos. Um, maybe tomorrow or on Sunday. Ayan. Ay, Sunday pala tomorrow yan. Pag-uusapan natin tomorrow yan. Pero tonight, hello, glow recap muna ang ating pag-uusapan. Ayan. Si Lina Daslata saying Alexi Brooks ang kanyang peg, ang kanyang winner. May tumawag ulit ata sa kanya. Oh my Ayan. God. Hello? No. Are we back? Ayan. <laughs> We're having technical difficulties. Okay na ba ang Ayan. aking uh, yes. internet? Yes, yes. Yes, Doc. 
Are we good? Yes, yes. Uh, we can hear you. Yeah. Ayan, oh, sige. All right. Sige, uh, maraming maraming salamat sa ating 60,000 viewers right now, guys. If you haven't liked this video, please do so. The very once in a moon, parang solar eclipse lang to. Minsan lang mangyari ang collab namin ni Ms. G. Kasama si Sir Ace. Kaya i-like nyo na ang video na to. Um, Rumachado na tayo because we only have an hour to, to speak with Ms. G. Dahil meron silang live. Diretso na tayo, punto per punto. Sino-sino ang mga umangat sa inyo the last time sa Hello Glow? I'm sure you're very happy that the girls had this activity at nagkapatan sila ng very, very slight sa rampahan. Pwede ko bang malaman sino ang mga bubbling up sa inyo or those girls who almost made the cut para sa inyo before the top 10? Sino ang mga bubbling up ninyo sa listahan? Sir Ace. Okay, kasi kinakategor... Nakakategorize kasi sila sa akin sa go, grow, and glow. So, pumasok siya sa akin sa grow kasi medyo may, may dagdadagdag sila ng flavor. So, pinasok ko dyan. So, si Bantayan Island. Si Bantayan Island kasi alam ko naman na, uh, di ba, very professional siya. And like you, doc, she's a doctor. Plus, napaka-fearless ng performance niya. No, walang takot. Very go-getter. And then, nakita ko dun sa gown niya, yung suot niya. Parang ano siya, Oksana Fedorova, pero ng pink version. So, sobrang galing. Sobrang flowy ng gown niya, napaka-smooth lang, and kitang-kita mo nga, and napag-usapan natin doon kung nakaraan na parang may pagkahanili nga siya na aura, Miss Korea, 2007. So, ganun na ganun nga yung aura ni Bantayan. So, lalo na siguro kung nagbiwavy siya ng hair. So, sobrang ganda ng aura niya. And then si, actually napansin ko na rin siya, yun nga lang, uh, si Hawaii, si um, Patricia Bianca Tapia. Ewan ko, for me, parang mas nagpipick siya at the right time. All those uh, ito yung pinakamagandang performance niya sa akin by far. So, ang ganda ng beauty niya dito. Na, na, she's dis discovering the beauty queen in her. And of course, yung makeup niya, tama, matching. Nag-match sa damit niya. Plus, I think she's gaining momentum. Napakaganda ng uh, smile niya, ng aura niya. Napaka-light lang. And then, alam mo naman yung, yung youthful niyang aura eh. Kasi parang hindi siya talaga na-pressure sa competition. And then, siguro, pasok din siya siguro sa inyo. Pero, nasa bubbling up ko siya. Si Kayla Jean Carter. Kasi you cannot really deny yung beauty niya eh. I'm not sure lang kung in person, kasi sa frame niya sa ano ah, sa online, ang payat-payat niyang tignan. I'm not sure kung payat talaga siyang tignan doon. So, I'm not sure kung ano nangyayari sa katawan niya kasi papayat siya ng papayat. I'm just concerned. Pero napakaganda ng beauty nito, undeniable. Siguro kung may puna lang ako sa kanya, more energy. I'm not sure kung anong feeling niya that day kasi napaka walang energy. Sayang kasi, napakaganda ng styling niya. The aura is there. It's just the energy, lack of energy. Plus yung performance niya, siguro kahit hindi nga siya mag-perform dahil sobrang ganda niya, captivating siya. So, so far sila yung tatlong bubbling up ko. Yun ang tatlong bubbling up ni Sir Ace. Um, Bantayan Island. And then si um, Kayla Jean Carter, North Kayla. California. And then the other one is... Hawaii. Um, Hawaii. Si Hawaii, oo, si Miss Tapia, ayan. How about you, Miss G? Sino ang iyong top, uh, are the bubbling up girls mo sa listahan during the Hello Glow? Okay, so, so this is, these are the girls that I um, noticed. Uh, like, I didn't notice the girls for the past few events. Never I appreciate them. But I saw um, a remarkable performance towards these three ladies. So I have here Toledo City, Cabanatuan, and Cavite. Toledo, Cabanatuan, and Cavite. Yeah, Cavite. Si Dia Mate. Yes. Actually, Dia Mate also performed very well last time. And then Toledo also napansin din na. And Cabanatuan, very beautiful face. Itong si Cabanatuan talaga, si Daniela yes. Villar. So, May resemblance yan um, few words back. I'm not sure if it meron will be talaga. in the competition mm -hmm. or, you know, maybe her disadvantage as well. But as we all know, Cabanatuan has really a beautiful face. But other than that, I'm not sure what she can offer because... When it comes to her community capabilities, medyo alanganin tayo doon. Yeah, oh, oh, pero let's, yeah, let's see where the where her face could um, land in the in the um, list of the finalists kung aabot siya doon just because of the pretty face that she has. Pero agree with you, medyo parang kailangan pa ng um, 
little focus the Q&A yes. um, com skills itong si Ms. Cabanatuan. With regards to Kayla Carter, you know, I've seen the girls in person. I was, if, you, if you've seen the yeah, videos yeah. ng mga For the Philippines, nandun tayo sa dulo ng stage. Ako yung lagi na focus dun sa edge. <laughs> um, talagang medyo a little alarming yung um, body Kataya. issue nitong si Kayla mm-hmm. Carter. Like, when she came out, she was very, very um, thin. Um, mm-hmm. Although, on her proportions naman kasi, in fairness, sakto naman siya. Pero kung baga sa standard natin, payat talaga. Oo. Pero kung sa iisipin mo yung body frame ni Kayla, mukhang payat at mas maliit talaga yung framework niya compared to Zambales. But okay. um, I hope she uh, mm. there are no health issues um, yeah. aligned with that. And I hope na she's she's still um doing well and healthy naman well i i saw her naman she was eating naman during the dinner eh kaya parang sabi ko oh, wala namang problem to like body dysmorphia okay, or something oh, oh, oh. Yeah. yes okay so yun ang inyong mga bubbling up ako ang mention ko lang ang mga bubbling up ko um napansin ko si Leite um si engineer Rose Campo she did pretty well um during the runway of course Bantayan Island also uh, performed very well also. Uh, I like the confidence that we saw kay Miss Bantayan Island, si Dr. Rejubel. Uh, meron pa siyang mga pa, pa, pa ganun na uh, aura yeah. during I know. the ramp. Yeah. And, and last ko sa bubbling up ko, si, I think it was the best styling we've seen from Florida so far. And okay. grabe yung angas niya when she came out on stage. Kaya sabi yeah. ko, uy, medyo kailangan to watch out for itong si, si Florida in the competition. Ayan. Those are my three bubbling up. Ayan. Maraming salamat sa ating 68,000 viewers. Guys, please do like this video. Kasama natin, of course, ang special guest natin, si Miss G at si Sir Ace Evans na naka Sailor Moon tonight. Um, kakasusap <laughs> lang namin at kakamention lang na, namin ng aming mga bubbling up. If you guys notice, um, of course, aside from the judging panel, na nagkaroon ng top six, pag-uusapan namin as vloggers, yung mga feeling namin talaga deserve to be noticed and recognized na nag-step uh, up during the, ano, during the Hello Glow Runway. Ayan. Kaya yun ang ating um, balitaktahan tonight. Um, pag-uusapan natin ang top ten list ninyo. Let's go to um, Sir Ace. Sino ang number ten mo sa listahan? And Mira, why? Talaga natin, no? Okay, okay. See... Number 10 oh, ko, pero natin. Oo, oh, ni rank na biglaan lang guys. Pero number 10 ko si Pampanga. Although pasok naman siya talaga sa top 6 winners ng Hello Glow. Pero ito for me, ito yung pinaka strongest talaga, no. Strongest performance niya by far din ni Cyril Payumo kasi perfect yung styling. Finally, in motion, nakita na natin na nagkaya pala mag-translate into photo, into motion. No, it's just that siguro perfect timing. So ito na yung for me yung perfect timing niya. Plus, in my opinion nga, ito na yung by far yung best performance niya. And I think nga, um, nakita naman natin doon na yung beauty niya talaga, hindi lang, kasi she's really blessed na with the height eh. So, sobrang laki niya na talaga. Plus, perfect styling pa. So, hindi niya na kailangan mag-effort pa para mapansin. Eh, dahil nga maganda yung suot niya, bumagay sa kanya, sa tangkad niya, plus yung aura niya, lumabas talaga. Siguro, ang ano ko na lang sa kanya, more stage presence pa. Although, nandun naman nga, yun nga lang, kasi sayang eh, complete package na siya when it comes to, you know, stage presence. Siguro, konting angas na lang or landi pa. And then, number nine ko, uh, I hate to do this, pero number nine ko lang si Iloilo, si Alexi Brooks. Siguro dahil, uh, alam naman natin, na for me kasi lagi na lang siyang one-dimensional na kandidata, laging strong, powerful, although may a little bit delicate, may pagka soft side naman siya. It's just that kailangan ko pa ng uh, more feminine niya talaga. Yung talaga yung hinahanap ko sa kanya. Pero she was very confident and of course, na-distract lang ako, Miss G, nung parang um, ano ba yun? Yung parang maluwang ba yung ano niya, yung dress niya? Kasi lagi niyang, twice niyang inangat eh. So parang, ah, uh, Na, naku, kasi nakita ko yun, of course. Siyempre, parang na-distract lang ako dun sa pag-angat-angat niya. Nevertheless, maganda yung performance niya. It, it's just that for me, um, for me kasi hindi lang, na, hindi lang na siya yung may unique na look. Kaya parang medyo for me, nahihirapan akong iangat siya sa, you know, sa, sa top 10 ko. Kasi nga, may iba pang umaangat sa akin na unique ang look. So, for me, more energy lang, more feminine side. And then the styling kasi and the dress, parang nasuot niya na before ibang kulay lang. So, parang hinanapan ko lang ng, ng ibang Alexi bro. So, it's just that siguro, it's, she's, yung performance niya is too strong for the sponsor's event. 
Ayun lang. So, number eight ko, si Cebu. Si Cebu naman. Um, si Cebu naman kasi... Um, okay. For me kasi... Yeah. Si Cebu naman kasi kahit hindi siya for me mag-perform. Tama-tama yung team plan ng atake niya, yung performance niya, yung stage presence niya. Kasi nandun naman yung beauty niya, yung aura niya, yung glow niya as her. So, kitang-kita naman natin yun na... Uh, ageless and timeless talaga yung beauty nito. Lagi siyang, you know, in fighting form and ang ganda ng frame niya. May pagka-step, i-avira story talaga siya na may pagka-Georgina Wilson sa akin. Ganun na ganun talaga yun. So, sobrang imposible mo siyang hindi mapansin dahil sa beauty niya. So, kahit ganun yung performance niya, pinasok ko pa rin siya sa top 10 kasi nga undeniable. Napakaganda ng glow niya. So, yun. Um, number 7 ko, Ito na yung talagang, actually, top 7 lang talaga ako. Pero, ito, ang number 7 ko is si, tama ba, Doc? Kaya tuloy-tuloy ko na. Mm -hmm. Yes. Number Sige, 7 ko, ano lang, hanggang 6. Hanggang 6 muna okay. tayo. Tapos, kay Miss okay, Gina muna sure. tayo. Oo. Okay, sure. Ah, Bulacan, pinasok ko siya, number 7, si Chelsea Manal. Ito na yung sinasabi kong unique yung look. Kasi yun nga, eh, marami silang unique yung look talaga. Pero, depende sa sa'yo kung paano mo gagamitin yun. Ito ang alas, ito yung kasing alas ni, ni uh, Chelsea, yung yung Black Barbie, plus babaihan siya. Ba, um, Kung baga, feminine talaga siya, and napakaganda ng styling niya. For me, lahat ng styling niya on point. So, I love her dress, and another money halasan nga na dress, and yung overlook niya, overall look niya, napakaganda ng aura niya. Plus, when you see her photos dun sa pinost niya, uh, mas maganda, I'm, I'm sure nakita mo siya in person na parang mas maganda pa siya talaga in person, yun nararamdaman ko of course, yan nga, ang kaibahan kasi niya sa ibang Black Barbie is ang atake niya, hindi siya nagpaka-strong sa stage, kumbaga uh, nasa element siya na parang pa-sweet lang yun talagang element niya, napaka-sweet of course, and delicate and of course, yung, cut, yung catwalk niya o yung runway niya, very calm and yun nga, kaya nagustuhan ko siya and then siguro last dala sa number 6 ko is si um, kahit na ganun siya, kahit nakukulaan pa rin ako sa kanya, pinasok ko pa rin siya sa top 6, si Tagig, si Christeline McGarry. Um, thankfully, Christy, um, you know, kahit pa paano, nag-perform naman siya, pero nakulangan pa rin talaga ako. Kasi I know how formidable candidate talaga to si uh, Christy. We all know, nandun naman yung aura niya, plus yung catwalk niya. I know yung catwalk niya, parang safe lang talaga sa akin. And I think it's it was on a brief. Tama lang naman for, for that particular event. Pero yun nga, um, naniniwala pa rin ako na na strategy game to. You know, the still waters run deep. Talagang matalino si Christy. Alam niya yung dapat gawin sa competition. So, naniniwala ako may baon pa rin siya, may bala pa rin siya sa competition. Kaya pinasok ko siya dito. Kasi for me, yung iba sinasabi, she's lack of appeal. She lacks of appeal. For, but for me, she has this X factor na pwede natin dalhin sa international. Yun lang so far from 10 to 6. Ko. Doc and Miss Yun ang, yun ang 10 to 6 mo, no? Oo. Oh, oh. Actually, um, oh, we almost had the same choices of girls sa 10 to 6. Pero I totally agree with you. Um, especially with Christy McGarry. Parang may kulang pa and all. Pero in fairness kasi kay Christy, alam nyo, honestly, when I spoke with her during the dinner, galing pa siya ng Mexico that time. So talagang super jet lag talaga si Christy. Um, she came from her Metro Mag work in Mexico during the Holy Week. And then, parang, what, was it 17 or 18 hour flight? Tapos she went straight. The, or, the girls' call time that day was 6 in the morning. At glammed wow. up na yung mga babae ng alas 6 ng umaga. Imagine yung mga itsurang ganun kagaganda ng nung rumampa ng alas 5 ng hapon sa harapan natin. In fairness to all the girls, it's very difficult to stay that um, glowy and beautiful. Di ko na lang alam ko anong... Um, Sikreto nila kasama ni Miss G to stay that pretty. Nang, diba, <laughs> parang almost 12 hours na silang naka-glam up ng ganon. Kaya, yeah. in fairness okay. to Christy, she did, she did very well pa rin naman. Kaya, um, agree naman ako sa sixth play, placement niya. Si, um, si Bulacan was also very pretty nga talaga. Um, talagang stand out sa, uh, parang very timely yung kanyang... Uh, Aura for the Hello Glow, yung sa pagkakastyle niya during that, ano, um, that event. Bago ko alamin ang 10 to 6 ni Miss G, I forgot to mention a few girls who also did very well during the Hello Glow. Si South California, etong si Hammond, um, Jet Hammond, was very, very beautiful. She had one of the best pasarelas in the competition. And I, always, I said this in one of my lives right after the event, yung recap ko, 
for me the best dress that night ako lang ha sa akin if i'm gonna wear their their dresses yung kay southern california yung gusto kong damit oo very ano very alta yung dating ang ganda ganda and then isa pa sa bubbling up ko was um palawan was a very big revelation for me um, yeah, i saw a mixture i saw a mixture of bea gomez and um, para may pagka Eliza Malino din yung mata niya kapag tumitingin maganda din tong si Palawan i think um she's a dark horse in the competition same as Leite so we have to watch out for this girls as early as today kasi nagperform talaga sila ng malalaan during that time ayun lang kasi hindi ko na sila mababanggit later kaya binanggit ko na sila additional sure. sa mga bubbling up ko so yan guys na mention na natin ang um 10 to 6 ni Sir Ace sa mga kakapasok lang, kasama po natin si Ms. G at si Sir Ace on a very special um, collaboration tonight. We are doing the recap of the Hello Glow um, fashion runway that happened at SM North EDSA. Um, sa ating mga um, kakatunian lang, guys, please do like this video and don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. Mamaya, we'll let them promote their page. Ms. G, it's your turn naman. Sino ang iyong 10 to 6? Thank you so much. Okay, so I'll be very quick. Um, I'll just give my short commentaries about um, my top five, top six, ten to six um, candidates. Let's start with Northern California. Janet, I mean, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, right? Janet Hammond. Southern. Southern. Cali- Southern. Yeah. Okay, Southern California. I'm sorry. Okay. The reason, I'm, the reason why I picked her is because of her glow. Literally. Uh, she never missed an opportunity for me. Since the press presentation, I was really amazed with her glow, with her overall styling, when it comes to hair, outfit, everything. And her height, actually, um, definitely will be one of her edge in this competition. Aside from that, the skin. She's so flawless. I'm not sure in person. I have not seen her in person, but In totality, I so love uh, Southern California, Janet Hammond. Um, next will be Cebu. I am very honest with my feedback uh, when it comes to Cebu. Sometimes, you know, um, I don't like her styling. Sometimes I'm not a fan of her. But with that Hello Glow um, segment uh, on this competition, I have to say that there's really a glow in her. Like, I was really amazed. Um, especially when it comes to her body transformation, when she joined MUPH, her fighting form was kind of beat off for me. But as time goes by, nagiging ano siya fit, like mas nagiging payat. Some people might say na yung payat is not healthy, but when it comes to pageantry, if you're like payat or you're not that, I mean, skinny is different from being like you know fit, right? So I was really amazed with her uh, body transformation. In the ramp as well, it's not the kind of pasarela na pasabog, but the execution from the start to finish was really good. I also have here Takloban. I don't know her name. I just know her sash. But the girl who's actually wearing, um, like yung mahabang terintas na buhok. Tama. And rumapa na, rumapa na mala Venus ra na nakapamewang. Um, I so love it. Zambales. My resemblance talaga siya ni Samantha Bernardo. I so love her twist, her turns. The only problem definitely definitely will be her height for me. But sabi nga nila, it should not matter in the pageantry. But for me, height is a must. So yun lang yung off sa kanya. But when it comes to her styling, from press presentation up until this time, she never missed. So I'm putting her as part of my top 10. Next will be Bako Or, uh, Victoria Vincent. I have to say that for the past few uh, segments in the competition, dito ko siya nakita ang pinakamaganda, pinaka-glowing, perfect styling. So yeah, yun masabi ko. Those are my top uh, top six in this Hello Glow. I am, yeah, I like I like your co- commentaries. Gusto, gusto ko yung mga napili mong girls na... Uh, walang bias dun sa mga heavy favorites, no? Um, you place BBB as part of your number six. 
um, Southern California was very pretty. I must uh, I, I must confirm na flawless po talaga siya in person. Wow. Oh, at that's very funny siya kasi during the dinner, umiikot siya. Tapos sabi niya, oh, enjoy lang kayo. Parang birthday daw niya. Enjoy lang kayo. Kain lang kayo dyan. Tawa kami ng tawa sa kanya. Very bubbly personality din tong si South California. Um, who else? Tacloban also very, very beautiful. Napansin ko din talaga. Ang ganda ng styling, by the way. And um, surprisingly, I would want to mention si Christopher Hanson. Alam nyo, despite the very beautiful face, siya yung pinakamatagal ko nakausap during the dinner. Ang tagal naming nag-usap. At um, ano to, very down to earth siya. And she calls herself Tita of the competition. Ganun niya na <laughs> si Riki. Ganyan niya pinafirst yung self niya sa, sa, pa, sa competition na to. And, and she told niya na parang it's just an unfinished business that she, yung what if sa life niya is gusto niyang gawin at this, right at this moment. So I told her to just enjoy. And I even mentioned to her na even before there was a Catriona Gray, there was, um, we have uh, um, Chris Tiffany Han. So totoo naman yan, di ba? Siya ang kauna-aunahang Mayra Ina. Mayra Ina. May hawin yeah. talaga sila ni Steph at parang Katriona na parang totoo, uh, agree you din with Georgina Wilson. Ganun kaganda si Chris Tiffany Hanson in person. And she lost so much weight from the time that she joined in yeah. the local pageant. Sabi ko, what did you do? Talagang she just, she was just training lang din daw talaga. Kaya ang galing. Ang galing. Oo. Ang ganda ng choices ni Miss G. I'm so, I'm so glad to hear those, those girls in the list. Um, si, alam mo si Sam Balas, Miss G, siya yung tipo ng girl na parang akala mo maliit, pero when you see her in person, she's tall pala. Oo, uh-huh. oo. nakaka-relate ako kasi may ganun na kong, may ganun um, perception yung mga tao when they see me. They uh-huh. thought na parang I'm only 5'6", pero when they see me, 5'8 pala ako in person. May ganun, ganun si Miss Zambales, oh. kaya, and very beautiful. Alam nyo, para siyang manikin sa personal. Ang ganda ng nose and yung side profile, ang ganda-ganda nitong si Anita. Wow. At favorite namin siya, mm-hmm. well, ng mga media, kasi sobrang bait. Super bait nitong si Anita Rose Gomez. So, kami yung naghahanap sa kanya. Kasi sobrang bait niyang kausap. Ayan. Ako sasabay naman ako sa inyo, sa inyong 10 to 6. Pero batiin muna natin ang ilan sa ating mga friends online. Very brief lang. Parade of Beauty is watching. Hello po, Mama Bex. Gaganda niyong tatlogan ng gabi po sa lahat. Watching you guys. Please subscribe, like, and follow these three amazing vloggers, guys. Love, love, ganun. Yes po, uh, Mama you, Bex. Po. I miss Hello you so much. May isa-send ako sa'yo later. Ayan. Thank you for tuning in very, very briefly, Mama Bex. Maraming salamat for, for being here. Ayan. Of course, subscribe nyo din si Mama Bex. Love din natin yan. And ako, silent, ano lang ako, hindi nyo alam, naglalogin ako pag naka-live kayo at nanonood lang din talaga ako kasi fan din ako ng mga YouTube channel niya. Sila, Miss G, matagal ko nang pinapanood yung mga yan. Ayan, Lawrence, iba ka talaga, Miss G, sa mga choice. Oo nga, eh, nakakatuwa marinig ang mga choices si Miss G. Walang bias talaga. Hello, Doc Z, Ace and G, sabi ni Dave84. Also, Ceddy Ryan Matugas, ito na sa ating mga um, religious subscribers. Hello, Doc Z, hello, Miss G, and hello, Sailor Venus. Well, sabi niya, Mercury po. Ayan, nagkamali din oh, si Gandag. Okay. King, Sailor <laughs> Mercury. Opo. Ayan. Hello. Ang bubbling up ni Leona Robles, si Palawan, San Pedro, Laguna, and Pasig. Actually, Pasig is also very pretty. I've seen her in person and very, very soon, baka po magkaroon kami ng interview ni Ms. Selena Reyes. Ayan. Oo. Oo. Yan ang mga ano natin. Iligawan natin si, si Pasig, si Mandawe, si Leyte, um, Florida. Yan ang mga nakaline up natin i-interview and very, very soon. Ayan. Oo. Nina Barzaga says, Hello, Trinity. Oh. Hello. hello. Ayan. Medyo na wala ako ng very slight. Ayan. Ayan. Hello, hello. Am hello, I Nina. back? Ayan. Hello, Doc. Hello, Doc Z. Uh, at sa mga kasama mong hosts watching from Hong Kong. Hello po, Ma'am Virgilia Nasis. Good evening po sa inyo. Ako yung mention ko ang aking 10 to 6. Ang number 10 ko would have to be Bulacan. I think that among the girls na ina-expect ko magpapakita ng kanilang Hello Glow, I've seen how pretty um, Bulacan is in person. Very um, very fashionista ang kanyang peg at atake. At gusto gusto ko talaga how she did the ponytail on her hairstyle. Bulacan was super, super pretty. And abangan natin, let's see, baka magkaroon.
Kelsey Manalo. Number nine ko would have to be Pampanga. Um, well, Cyril Payumo made me very proud during the uh, Hello Glow Runway show because I'm a Kapampangan myself. Pero I expected uh, less from Cyril, but she did really well during that performance. Ang only comment ko kay Cyril is I hope she would smile more kasi very fierce lagi yung attack ni Cyril sa stage. So I hope na since Hello Glow yun, tas upbeat naman yung song, so I was expecting her to smile even more um, during the runway show. But nonetheless, alam nyo, isa sa most stunning face itong si, ano, si Cyril Payumo during the, ano, the Hello Runway show. Ah, aking number eight would have to be Zambales. Si Anita Rose Gomez, super pretty in person. That body was uh, shown at the right proportion, at the right angles. Sobrang tamang-tama lang. Hindi ganun ka um, overly seductive and sexy yung suot ni Anita. And I love how she's being styled. She looks really, really alta talaga. Um, right now in the state of the competition and we're we're seeing a lot of potential in Anita. She might really um, end up in the semifinals for this year's edition. Kaya keep it up, Zambales. Number seven ko would have to be Tagig. Si Tagig, um, agree no, medyo kulang. Kulang ng feistiness. Kulang ng angst, no, yung aura. She was trying her best, I think. I rewatched her performance. She was trying her best at that time, pero medyo kulang pa. Kulang pa tayo ng um, pagkaslayage nitong si Christy McGarry. And um, we know that she can do better in the competition. We have high hopes for Christy kasi Christy na yan eh. So maybe uh, we'll see more of her. Uh, pero I love how sports she was. Sabi niya sa akin na, no, I'm okay na hindi daw siya natawag. Na parang it's just uh, one of the first... Um, challenge pa lang naman and she'll do better the next time around and then she did mention nga na um, siya ay on a jet lag pa coming from Mexico and then she went straight to the event herself ayan for the hello row hello a glow runway show ang number 6 ko would have to be kainta in fairness to Stacy she is really improving with regards to her um pasarela yan ang ating um parang sinasabing waterloo nitong si Stacy but um Stay- I, what I love about Stacy is she's a performer she would give us a really good show ganun ang ginawa ni Stacy and i must admit that Stacy had were parang had the most number of fans and one of the most applauded girls during that night kaya um kudos to her team alam mo super ganda nitong si Stacy in person parang combination of ano talaga to um Angel Aquino and Ann Curtis Super commercial beauty. And hindi ko nakitaan ng height issue si Stacy in fairness. Parang hindi ko napansin na maliit siya on stage. She just performed very, very well on on camera and on stage. Kaya, ano, um, I think um, more improvement pa ng konti sa pasarela and we can see her climbing up again sa top 5 list natin. Kasi nga, di ba, medyo bumababa to sa radar yes. itong si Stacy so far in the competition. And I must admit, if wala si Lukban, mamaya tatanungin ko kayo ha, sa akin kung wala si Lukban as favorite choice, I think si Stacy ang dapat pinasok sa number 6 spot for the finalists ng Hello Glow Runway Show. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat sa ating 110,000 viewers, guys. Please like this video and um, mag-subscribe na kayo sa YouTube channel nila Miss G. Ayan, na- napag-usapan na namin ang aming bubbling up the girls from our 10 to 6 ngayon mag-run through tayo ng ating 5 to 1. Sino ang mga umariba sa inyo? At kung kayo ang panel of judges, sino ang a-award na ninyong Hello Glow Runway finalists? Sir Ace. Okay. Um, number 5 na. Of course, nabanggit mo na siya kanina, si Stacy from Kainta. Si Stacy naman kasi talaga, like, gusto ko rin da- itanong sa'yo, Dok, kung maliit siyang tignan talaga in person. Pero doon nga sa dun nga sa napanood kong video, hindi siya ganun ka rin. Siguro dahil na she carried the dress really well. well so, magaling siya magdala ng damit. And, you know, you, si Stacy may ganitong parang ano siya, may auto-switch siya na parang beast mode na in crucial time, kaya niya mag-deliver. And ito, isa to sa mga important kasi it's a sponsor event. So, lumalati na siya. Sabi mo nga kanina, sabi mo kanina, uh, sa akin, lumalati na yung look niya na may pagkabaleria ayos. 
uh, Miss uh, Colombia, di ba? Pero yun nga, I love her overall look styling, plus nga yung makeup niya, tama lang, and ang ganda ng pagdala niya sa dress, sobrang natuwa ako. Eh kasi, yun nga, sinabi mo, Doc, na parang bumababa na siya sa lista natin, pero eto, parang pinatunayan niya, she, she cemented herself sa akin sa top five. So, ang ganda ng energy, ang ganda ng smile, great aura, yung stage presence niya, maganda. And then number four ko, nabanggit nyo na rin kanina si Anita Gomez, Sambales. Of course, siya lang niya. Ewan ko kung Sambalenius ba yung tawag ta, sa, sa Sambales. Pero parang for me, napaka-bombshell niya. Of course, aside from that, you know, I think she also like a like a human uh, bomb. Kasi parang lagi siya nagpapasabog. Eh. Lagi siyang may dalang bomba na parang every time she, you know, you, you know, across her, na parang... Laging explosive. Kumbaga, pag may performance, may mga challenges, laging explosive yung performance na. So, hindi siya nauubusan ng bomba. Ang galing. And kudos sa styling niya, plus, of course, sa kanya, ang galing-galing niya magdala. I love her look, of course, and yung rapport niya, like, eto nilagay ko dito, maganda yung rapport niya. So, naramdaman ko yon habang nanonood ako ng malayo, pero kayo dun siguro in person, mas naramdaman niyo pa yon So, great job sa kanya. So, hindi ako nagkamali ng ng think sa kanya na parang yun nga, yung aura niya she always have this yun nga, explosive yung performance sana siguro kung may mga consistent na kandidata isa, isa sa mga yun na very consistent when it comes to performances so number three uh, medyo nahirapan ako sa top three kasi ang hirap talaga ng top three Baguio for me Tara Valencia kasi ang primary talaga uh, weapons nito ni Tara Valencia is yung beauty yung charm niya physical appearance, ito talaga eh, medyo little yung combination na to. Alam ko naman na kahit pa paano, I mean, uh, you know, si Tara kasi, kahit siguro, kahit hindi niya galingan, pero dahil because of her beauty, mapapansin at mapapansin mo rin siya. And alam ko naman na kaya ni Tara talaga kunin yung audience, pati yung mga judges, because of her charm. So she was very playful, and napakaganda ng youthful yung vibes niya, plus yun nga, because she's pretty. So, parang mahal na mahal siya talaga siya ng camera. I love her styling, of course. Napaka-playful din ang dress. She carried it really, really well. Magandang execution. Plus, eto, nang nasabi ko before na parang sometimes kulang siya sa confidence. But whenever she, you know, strut the runaway or parang stage presence niya, dun lumalabas yung personality niya and napaka-confident niya. So, sana ganun din when it comes to, you know, pahawakin ng mic, yung mga challenges na interview. Sana, Uh, tumagos siya sa kanya yung ganong aura. Of course, ang ganda ng energy niya plus captivating. And then number two ko, si BBB. Ito talaga si BBB, masasabi natin na ang ganda ng comeback niya, talagang perfect timing. She's a very reliable candidate in this batch. Very smooth and performance niya on stage. Yung nga, hindi laban na laban. Kumbaga, si BBB yung naglalakad mismo. Hindi siya nag-portray ng ibang candidate, ng, ng, uh, ng ibang persona. Plus yung overall look niya, tinignan ko rin yung mga pictures niya, napakaganda niya, nakapakaganda ng makeup, maganda yung eyes niya, of course. Nagiging, uh, kumbaga, bala niya na yung eyes niya eh. Kumbaga, captivating na, hindi na siya ganun ka dead or parang medyo pagka empty yung eyes niya. Pero I love the pink dress, parang siyang uh, nagbubloom na flower, plus the aura, of course, the glow is there. Pasok naman siya sa top six winners. Plus yung energy niya on stage, nakita ko din yung energy niya. Sobrang, Uh, napakaganda ng personality talaga na ito, yung pinakita niya ngayon, yung comeback niya, more personality yung pinapakita niya. Plus tama nga yung atake, very kalmado, and she's enjoying her moment. So congratulations sa kanya because she's firing on all cylinders. So yung number one, ilapag na natin. <laughs> Ewan ko kung uh, napansin niyo siya, pero for sure napansin niyo siya. Um, Atisa Manalo, Quezon Province. Uh, what can we say? Dumating na talaga yung Reyna. Parang for me siya talaga yung Reyna eh. Diyosahan talaga siya. I'm not sure in person na ah kung Josahan. I mean, Josahan naman talaga siya, but iba. I love her runway, hindi laban-laban, tamang-tama lang for the, you know, specific event. Ang ganda ng atake, <laughs> tama yung team, plus she balance, you know, the fierceness and playfulness while not losing the sweetness. Of course, perfect yung styling, undeniable yung beauty niya. Plus, yung winning aura, I think dapat nang palitan yung apelido ni Atisa Manalo. Gawin na natin to Atisa Panalo or Atisa Nanalo. Nanalo na siya for me. So, ayun. Sobrang galing. She, she's my number one. Yeah. Ayun lang. She's And, your number one. Okay. So, uh, recap natin ang five to one ni Sir Ace. Number five is... Um, so, uh, sorry? Uh, number five, si... Kainta. 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 Yeah, si Stacy. Al- alam mo... Tama ka, no? Very Valeria Ayos yung dating nga. Medyo mas papayatin mo ng konti, pero oh. may ganong vibe na tong si, si Stacy. Number four mo, si Anita Rose Gomez. Yes. Uh, she's very beautiful in person. 
Um, number three mo is um, Tara Valle. Yes, hello. Ayan. Uh, number three yes. mo is Tara Valencia. I like, I like that you mentioned the lethal combination ng kanyang um, mga strengths sa competition. Alam nyo ba, at ito, sasabihin ko lang sa inyo to. masama ang pakiramdam nito si, wow. si Tara <laughs> during that day. Masama tayo. Oo, oh, oh, talagang nag pa ako ng gamot for Tara that day. At kaya talagang... Masama talaga ang pakiramdam ng baby girl natin nung day na yon Pero talagang kapag nasa runway iba, may mga talagang ano talaga, sinasiniban kapag nasa stage na talaga. And then, a uh, number two mo, si VVV. Baby. Of course, um, uh, we're glad we're glad that she is up in the game. And isa sa mga pinag-uusapan natin yung runway niya before, di ba? But now she is really, uh, she really stepped up the the game when it comes to pasarela, super light. Ang light-light ng dating ni, ni VVV. At uh, number one was si Atisa. And if you're going to ask me who had the most glow that night, it's a battle between Atisa and VVV talaga. Yung glow talaga na aura, winning aura and winning glow, it's VVV and Atisa. Super immaculate beauty tong si, si Atisa during um, that Hello, Ro- Hello Glow runway show. Ayan, so yun ang iyong 1 to 5, um, Sir Ace. Maraming maraming salamat sa ating 130,000 viewers ngayon. Um, wow. And of course, Sir Ninia, or Mamimia Barzaga, maraming salamat sa super sticker po na pinadala ninyo. May pangkapi na ako later. Maraming salamat. Ayan. Congrats. Ayan. Oh, oh. God you, Pony. Sige. Ang hinihin daw ni Miss G, napakaganda, sabi ni Sir Ray. Miss G, Pakitaan mo na kami, sino ang iyong 5 to number 1 choices during the Hello Glow Runway Show? Okay, so my number, uh, my 5th place will be Kainta. I so love her turns, her passarela. It's not too exaggerated. She displayed that confidence, charm, and it, it seems like she's just enjoying the moment. No pressure at all. Surprisingly, my fourth place will be Diamate, Cavite. I don't know, for some reason, I'm such a fan of girl having that Tara's hair. Reminds me of Venus Ra, as always. I love her projection. Turns uh, were, on, were on point. The makeup, styling, it was all good for me. But uh, the reason why I put her as part of my top five is really because of her passarella. Um, you'll be surprised. Um, on my third place, it's Quezon Province. I know that the segment is all about Hello Glow, but let's not forget that it's a runway challenge. Um, the runway that I saw, uh, kay Atisa Manalo, were just the same as what I saw or what I watched uh, during the press presentation. Nothing's new. Uh, when it comes to Atisa Manalo, but I have to admit that when it comes to that um, beautiful face, it's really Atisa Manalo. Sabi nga ni Ace Karina, parang dumating na ang Reina, which is really just giving that vibe to everyone, especially to me. Effortless. Second place, you'll be surprised again, but I have it here passing. One of my sentimental queens in this competition, very calm, or calmado, sabi nga nila, napakalmado ni, ni Pasig. Very fit and, you know, she, she has this confidence and the very pleasant personality. I have not met her in person, but the way that I see her on motion, I mean, I can say na she's, you know, she's really um, enjoying the, the competition. No pressure, full of confidence. My number one, since it's Hello Glow Runway, I'll give it to Baguio. Admit it or not, when it comes to her performance or a projection, may sakit pa as what you just mentioned a while ago. It's really Baguio. She owned that segment of the competition. What I like about Baguio, very consistent. The moment that I saw her, uh, Instagram clips palang that aura projection na paha consistent. Even her runway, pasarela. Uh, turns, uh, whatever it is, 
perfect. It's really Baguio for me. Um, if if we have like CJ Opiaza from the last season and um, what's the name of that girl from Bag Krishna Gravides? Krishna. Krishna. We have yes. we have Tara Valencia this year for me. A really really amazing performance for Tara. So was it my number one? Ayan, natuwa naman ako sa, ano, sa choice ni si Ms. G. Siyempre happy ako, pero alam niyo kung bakit. Pero, yeah, uh, five to one ni Ms. G. Uh, number five is... Um, Kavita. Ano ba? Kainta, no? Ah, Kavita. Kainta, yeah. Kainta. 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 It's Kainta. Kainta, Rizal, Stacy, and then Diamate. Kavita. Um, Kavita. Um, Quezon Province, at East Manalo. Totoo, ano, agree ako sa inyo na may vibe tong si, si Atisha na, lalo na isa siya sa pinakahuling girls na lumalabas. Yeah. I mean, among the frontrunners, it's parang yeah. tagig, tagig siya kasi yung mga huli talaga. So pag dumating na siya, parang ito na yun, ito na yung kukompleto sa hinahanap nyo. Parang ganun yung vibe uh, ni Atisha Manalo. Right. Eh. Oo. Tapos, number two is uh, VVV. Uh, Pasig. Uh, very, Pasig. Ah, sorry, sorry, so Pasig. Pasig. I'm very sorry, very sorry. Pasig, alam nyo, si Pasig is such a revelation that day. Super beautiful. And I was seated in front of her children. Nasa likod ko yung asawa at mga anak wow. ni Selena Reyes. Talagang ako eh, talagang napa, napa-cheer na rin ako for, for Pasig. Kasi talagang grabe yung support ng mga anak niya sa kanya. And I, I approached her, I said na, you know, my mom passed away this year. And I love how you're showing... Yung, yung love mo for your family and how you're juggling dreams, no? Your yung dreams mo to become a Miss Universe candidate. And I, I did mention to her that if we are about to send a mom in the competition, you're the best yeah. representative yeah. that we can send in, ano, in Miss Universe talaga. Sobrang ganda, very strong um, story background and backstory at talagang ano to, ang ganda-ganda ng katawan, all proportions, checks talaga. Boom na boom talaga. Pwede siyang sumabay kay Colombia last year. Ganong peg tong si, si mm-hmm. Selena Reyes. Yeah. So, oh. And of yeah. course, number one mo si Baguio. Hindi na ako magsasalita. Inexplain mo na lahat. Miss, uh, Miss G, ayoko nang matag ng mga tao. Thank you, it came from you. Ayan. Love, love ko na si Miss G ng super na super. Oo, oh, oh. ayan. At may sakit pa po si, si Baguio talaga ng day na yon. Ayan, nalaman na natin na ang kanilang 5 to 1. Ako, banggitin ko lang ng very, very quick ang aking 5 to 1. Number 5 ko is Cebu. Si um, Chris Tiffany Hanson. Uh, I, we've seen her gearing up in the competition. I love her beautiful face. It's, it's just, it screams Miss Universe na for me. Ganun na yung vibe ni, ni Chris Tiffany Hanson sa akin. And I'm very afraid already kasi... Mukhang siya ang maninira ng listahan ko sa top 5, I think. Si Chris Tiffany Hanson will gear up in the competition if she ma- maintains this kind of momentum. At alam nyo, super down to earth nitong si Chris Tiffany. Kasi nag kami ni RJ before. Sabi ko, kanino ka na sa stars track at hindi ka makapagsalita? Totoo nga talaga, si Chris Tiffany. Kasi pag nakipag-usap si Chris Tiffany sa'yo, talagang eye to eye. She will really look wow. inside your soul talaga. Kaya... Nakaka-starstruck, pero surprisingly siya yung pinakamatagal ko naging kausap during that dinner that we had. Ayan. Ang number four ko would have to be Quezon Province. I totally agree with Miss G. It's still a runway show, no? It's still a runway show. And um, though I've mentioned during the recap that I had that I think, guys, Atisa was eyeing more on her safety during the runway show because the stage was not that sturdy. It was a bit Very narrow talaga, especially the um, the center ramp that they had. And if you would review Atisa's video, parang she looked twice sa hemline ng gown niya before she did the turn. So parang iniisip ko that she held back a bit because she was more of her safety. But nonetheless, agree with you guys, sasabihin ko na din, dumating na ang Reina every time Quezon Province would arrive. Oo, ganun talaga yung aura nitong si si Atisa. At tinitigan ko po siya ng mabuti. At pinikit ko ang mata ko at sabi ko, immaculate beauty. Walang budol, guys. Super beautiful ito si Atisa Manalo. Number three ko, isa ding walang budol at pinikit ko din ang mata ko nung tinitigan ko siya. Victoria Velasquez Vincent. Super pretty. I think she was one of the most 
or the glowest, kung may term na glowest girl um, <laughs> that night. Uh, tinitigyan kong mabuti, sabi ko, if this is the girl that we're gonna send in the international stage for Miss Universe, guys, may laban. Ang ganda din talaga ni BBB. And we're so glad that she's ano, enjoying. Yun yung pinapaki... Kasi parang yun yung kulang last time, no? In 2021, yung bubbly side ni yeah. BBB. Ngayon, we've, we've been seeing the fun side of her. She's just enjoying. Imagine when she went down the stage... Takbo siya, tapos kinamayan yes. na lahat ng fans. Nakita pa yun. No, yeah. Oo, oh, parang hindi siya naka-heels nung time na yun. Talagang nag-enjoy lang si BBB. And she did so well in the yeah. comp- in the runway show. Number two ko would have to be Ilo-Ilo just because I think it's a runway show. And I was surprised. I was very surprised and pleased to see Alexi um, geared up in her pasarela. This is the best we've seen um by far kay Alexi when it comes to pasarela. Meron siyang turn doon na pagharap niya, tumalikod siya, tapos bumalik yeah. siya ulit. Ang smooth nung transition. Sobrang Galing. smooth nung transition. At very Alexi yung galaw na yon. And I have to, um, I have to admit, grabe ang stage presence ni Alexi. She can feel na may nangyayaring wardrobe malfunction. But she did very well. Talagang every turn niya, inaangat niya talaga yung dress niya. So, uh, we like, we love a girl who has uh, that stage presence on stage despite, I know, despite um, a very, parang, you know, alam mo yun, know, in the zone siya and the moment siya nung time na yun. Yes. And um, she is for me the, the second placer for for that night. And of course, number one ko si Baguio. Hindi na ako magsasalita. Ang masasabi ko lang, I asked Tara eh, sabi ko, Um, kailan mo na-receive yung damit mo? Sabi ko kay Tara. Kasi, ano eh, alam niyo yung damit ni Tara, it's parang, it's a hit or miss. It's either you like it or yeah. not. Kasi yeah. parang, it's, there's a lot going on with the dress. Aminin natin, di ba? And then I asked her, sabi ko, kailan mo na-receive? Sabi niya, the night before daw. Sabi ko, so how did you come up with that kind of transition? Talagang pinag-isipan lang daw niya during the rehearsals no morning. Ang galing, ang galing niya. Natuwa ako na biglang nagkaroon siya ng Diana Mendoza moment noong and ano, Taliana Vargas sa stage na yan. And mm. lahat na sinabi na ni Miss G uh, for Baguio. So, it's a runway show. So, let's give it to Baguio talaga this time around. Ayan. Nako, ang ganda ng discussion natin sa inyong mga um, choices at um, for the list of the girls during the Hello Runway show. Pareho kami ni Miss G, number one namin, si Baguio. Si, si Sir Ace, ang number one mo ay si... Quezon Province, si Atisa. Quezon Province, Atisa Manalo. Ayan. Alam ko, very tight ang schedule natin. But before we end tonight, at maraming maraming salamat muna sa ating 142,000 viewers who are watching. Guys, please like this video. Parang solar eclipse lang to. Once in a blue moon lang po mangyari itong collaboration namin ni Miss G. Yeah. Siyempre si Sir Ace, uh, very good friend natin yan. Alam nyo, even behind the camera, chat kami ng chat ni Sir Ace talaga ng mga kung anong ganap. After the runway show, sinendan ko talaga siya ng mga pictures ng mga girls together with me. Sabi ko, ito ang mga ganap ka kanina. Ayan. Um, please, Miss G, before natin sabihin ang inyong top 5 updated version as of April 6, um, invite okay. everyone on your YouTube channel, Sir Ace and Miss G. Sir Ace, mauna ka na. Um, kay Miss Jean channel naman yun. Pero guys, after after this live, may live kami ni Miss G with Nel Maceda. I'm not sure kung nanonood siya right now. Pero yun, takbo lang kayo sa amin ni Miss G. Ang tackle naman namin is, Miss G, ano bang topic natin doon? Go ahead. Alexi versus Atisa. Ayan. Yes. Ayan, yes. ako. Matinding-tinding labanan yan. So in 30 minutes, magla-live sila Ali, Al- Alexi versus Atisa. And ang nakakatawa dyan, alam niyo ako as pageant fan din ako ah. So, nasa gilid ako ni Alexi at ni Atisa bago yeah. ko ipa, ipa-promote ng si Miss G. Um, nasa likod ako nila, nasa gilid ako, tapos naghawak kamay sila. Tapos sabi ko, naku, I'm sure na-capture na to ng mga pageant fans at uh, sasabihin na nila na, is this the last two standing girls? At yun na nga, no? lumabas nga yung mga clips na yon nilang dalawa. O, o sabi ko nga kay Tara, pumunta ka dun sa gilid para kay tatlo, eh, di ba, ano yun? Uh, yeah. Parang transitioning yun, di ba? Alternate sila. So, napunta si, si Tara sa kabilang side naman. Kaya, ayan. So, um, Alexi versus Atisa ang kanilang topic. Bardagulan yun mamaya. Naku. Uh, Miss G, please invite all of your fans and subscribers. I'm sure marami kayong subscribers who are tuned in tonight. Maraming salamat sa kanila. Go ahead, Miss G. 
Okay, before I promote my child, I just want to say thank you so much for this opportunity. You kept on saying it's just once in a lifetime opportunity, sabi mo, but um, definitely if there's, you know, an invite, I'll definitely squeeze in my schedule para din mag, mag ako sa live mo. It's all about helping each other, right? So, yes. yeah, I'm always um, open for collab sa is Parang manager ko si Ace. Siya yung nakaalam <laughs> ng schedule ko actually. <laughs> But yun. Actually, yun, kami, I just, Ace. Very soon ako naman sa channel yeah. ninyo. Very, very Why soon. Not? Yes. Why not? Oh. But yun. Gusto ko, um, maka- gusto ko ma-experience yung four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know, our our supporters were very demanding no, like to, to do it like every day. But, you know, the problem is that I have like a corporate job. So talagang Parang it's a way of me saying thank you to them. If you want to extend like two to three to four hours, why not? But yon, I just want to say thank you so much again, Doc said, for having me here. It's really an opportunity for me, a pleasure. I'm just so happy to be here in your channel. So to all of my supporters, if you're watching this live chat today, maraming maraming salamat for your continuous love and support. And if you have not subscribed yet to Doc Z channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Maraming maraming salamat again for inviting me. Yes, ayan, narinig nyo straight from Miss G. Marami pa kami magiging collab even after tonight. Ayan. Okay, straight punto per punto, sino ang inyong updated top five? As of April 7, Sir Ace, go ahead. Okay, unahin na natin si Atisa for sure. Atisa, Alexi Brooks, uh, VVV, Victoria Velasquez Vincent. Um, I'm, I'm still believing, uh, of course, in her, Tagig, Christeline McGarry. And Baguio, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Baguio, for sure. Tara okay, bagay. so yan ang iyong number, ang iyong five, no? Alexi, Atisa, BBV, Christy, and Tara Valencia. Top five list. Mr. Ace, yes. as of April 7, ito, we're speaking um, in yeah. summary of everything we've yeah. seen. Yeah. Oh, sige. Miss G, sino ang iyong top five as of April 7? This is so funny, but you can see it. It's the same top five. Oh my Ace. god! Oh, wow. Kesson Province, it's the same Alexi, top five. Tagig, Bako, or Baguio. Feel ko si Baguio papasok to ng top five because hindi pa naman deter, hindi pa naman nagko Q&A yeah. or wala pang everything. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not shading her or I'm not like putting shame mm-hmm. on her, but. As we all know naman, yun yung water yung nga, or need, things that needs to improve kay Tara Valenza, it's really the way how she speaks and her Q&A capability. So ayun, but yeah, for sure papasok siya ng top five. So those are my top five girls. As of this time. As of this time, alam nyo, tayo ay trio, natawagin ng trio. We have the same five, guys. Same five pa din tayo. As of April 7, ganun din ako. Christy McGarry, Tara Valencia, Alexi Brooks, BVV at Isa Manalo. Yan din ang aking five girls as of April 7. Pero konting-konti na lang. Konting-konti na lang for Cebu, Cebu uh, Christy Pani Hanson. She might, she might really ano, um, gear up in the competition. Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat once again, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, please do so. And promote ko lang ulit ang... Um, Um, interview ko with Miss Baguio, Tara Valencia, uh, was uploaded last night. It's up there, uh, out there already. And please do comment there. And we've been reading your comments. Of course, you guys know that I am her communications coach. So, binabasa po namin ang mga comments niyo on how to improve for Tara Valencia's com skills. Dahil lahat nga tayo ay talagang nakatutok sa part na yan for Tara's um journey towards the crown. Ayan. Kaya maraming salamat for all the positive feedbacks. Then, of course, the constructive criticisms, we're taking them very, very lightly as well. Maraming salamat. And um, on Monday, I'll be collaborating with Sir JR. Um, isa sa mga good, good friends namin, ni RJ, sa pageant media. And then, April 11, ayan, i-announce ko na po, I will be collaborating with Mama Sam. Yes, around uh, 5 p.m. Philippine time. Uh-huh. Nako, isa dito sa mga once in a lifetime uh, moment na mangyayari. Parang solar eclipse din. Um, <laughs> nag-message na lang si Mama Sam at sinabi niya sa akin na available siya on April 11. Yan. Um, and let's see, um, baka makita kami when I go to Thailand for Songkran next Songkran. week. Ayan. 
Yes, ayan. Guys, uh, please uh, do subscribe on my YouTube channel. Follow me on my Instagram account. It's Z. Very, very soon po magkakaroon tayo ng Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram channel na for pageant guru nang. Meron na tayong help ng ating social media friends dahil hindi ko na kayang ayusin lahat ng mga yan sa buhay ko. Ayan. And um, the rest na kayo right after this. Punta na kayo around 7.30. Inom lang kayo ng water at konting munch lang dyan ng kung ano man. Diretso na kayo sa, sa channel ni Ms. G at ni Sir Ace. Pag-uusapan nila bakbahan between Alexi and Atisa. Maraming salamat guys. This has been your passion guru, Dr. Zed. And we wish you a good Saturday night. God bless us all. Bye!